Hi there, today I'm going to show you how I add a bit of definition to one of my punch needle pieces and tidy up the ends. So as you can see here, I've got two different shapes that I have punched. This one has got a lot more definition in the lines and where I've tidied up my stitches. And this one, you can see that the lines are quite lost. So I'm going to show you how to get the definition back in this piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out these lines that I've already punched and then I'm going to re-punch them. It can be a little bit tough to pull out because I've been using rug yarn. But we should be able to get them out. This is also called frogging. So if anybody ever mentions frogging their work, it means pulling out the threads and starting again, which monk's cloth is great for because it's very hard wearing. So I've pulled all my lines out and on the back you can see where it was punched before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this on my hoop and then I'm going to thread my needle and re-punch these lines. Okay, so I've stretched my piece onto my hoop now and I've just added a little, little bit of masking tape on the edges because it was starting to fray. I have threaded my needle and now I'm going to re-punch the lines. Uh, this will take a little bit of time so we might just speed this bit up so you don't get bored. So. I'm just going back in where I had been previously, but this time punching with a double thread of the yarn to add a bit more definition. Okay, so I have repunched my lines and you can see that using the double thread has given me a thicker line but that it's still a little bit messy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tidy up part of my punching just using the end of my needle. So I'm going to take my yarn out and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start teasing my stitches back into place to try and give this line a little bit more definition. So because I've used rug yarn you can see it's a little bit more unrefined than knitting or crochet yarn and it's also very durable and hard wearing so you can be quite forceful with the needle getting the stitches back into place. So I'll just be pushing those around to try and make the line a little bit more defined. Actually this isn't too bad. I think the, when I did the other one it was much messier. I think it really does help if you punch your line and it's not defined enough, take it out and then re-punch it. That was a top tip from Amy Oxford. So I'm just pushing them back 
going to uh, place this. Also helps when you've got quite a contrasting colour that you're working with. It's easy to see which stitches you should be moving where. And then if I had any that were too long, so maybe say that one was a bit too long, I'll just pull it out a bit. Then I can just trim the ends off nice and close to the other stitches and then you won't see it. I think this is a really important part of the process. Tidying up the ends, poking them in, moving your stitches around. It really helps to make your work look more professional. And I am a bit of a perfectionist so I could spend quite a long time doing this but you get the general idea I'll just do that last one okay so there we go that's how to give your lines a little bit of definition if you're worried that you've lost it, you can take out your line of stitching, repunch it again, and then put your stitches into place. There we go.